woke up and I thought today would be fun to do a video and give you guys a little peek into our lives. So as you guys know from my previous videos, I work at home and I also homeschool. And so I thought I would let you guys see a little bit of what we do. Obviously, this is not every single day, but this is kind of the average for our day-to-day -day life. So come along with us, enjoy. So in the mornings, my husband gets up to get ready for work and the kids get up shortly after he gets up. So usually when he is around the time when he's eating breakfast, they will get up and they will come down and bombard him with kisses and hugs and he will give them some breakfast. So I'm usually still in bed at that point and then I hear them come down and make all their noise and then I get up and I come out and we all have little bit of breakfast and say goodbye to our papa and he goes off to work and then um, the kids will go upstairs and get dressed and then they will come back down to the kitchen and they will do things like emptying the dishwasher and then um, we'll have some Bible reading at the table together and then we'll start our school. So the kids went upstairs to get dressed and I made myself the breakfast that I'll show you in just a second and they decided that after they were dressed, they were going to go outside, which I don't mind because it is such a hot day here in Oklahoma that the mornings are the only time that they can really enjoy the outdoors. So I let them run out there for a bit and then we'll call them in and get started on our school. Okay, breakfast time. So this morning we're going to do some Greek yogurt, organic Greek yogurt, um, topped with some hemp hearts for extra protein and then some organic strawberries which I've washed in my Thieves Veggie Wash and then as far as supplements go I take my iron from Flora Vital that's really good stuff and my master formula multivitamin from Young Living and then of course our shots of Nisha Red. I'll boil my water for my coffee now and while that's coming to a boil I'll go ahead and fill the diffuser for the day I usually fill this two or three times a day with different oils. This morning, I think I'm gonna put some joy in. So I'm just gonna put some water in there and a few drops of joy. Joy is Elijah's favorite oil, isn't it, Elijah? <laughs> and for this large area, kitchen, dining room, living room, I usually put about eight drops, eight to 10. Slide that back on get that going. Now we'll have some beautiful essential oils to help us through the day with our moods and with our energy and not sure what color to do today. I think I'll do, let's do blue today. There, perfect. And my water is done, so now I can make my coffee. Kids are getting their school at the table, and there is my coffee. I'm gonna bring it over to the table, and we're gonna get started. Okay, guys, get your books out. This is our little homeschool station right here with all of our books, and we've got a lot more stuff in these cabinets. All right, let's sit down at the table and get started. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So now how many do you have in the tens house? Seven in here. Seven in there, right? And twenty in here. Twenty in there. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, very good. Need some genius button? Oh well, sure, I'll have some genius. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. You like that? Mm -hmm. Does it help you? Yeah. Mm. All right, the kids are going on their school, so I'm gonna come in here and make the bed. I've got the diffuser going. Here's my uh, birth preparation reading I'm doing sweet little flower the kids brought me last night. So I'm going to make this and here's our 
pretty oil rack. The um, son of one of our homeschool friends made this rack for us and I just love it. Okay, that's done. Do you love my sign? All right, I'm going to finish brushing my hair, get dressed. This is actually my jammies that I sleep in. Here's my bump. <laughs> and uh, figure out what I'm gonna wear today, which gets harder and harder because fewer and fewer things fit over the bump. So we'll see what I come up with. All right, this is what I decided on. I actually got this top in Norway at an H&M store while we were there because I was running out of clothes. And these shorts are awesome. They are maternity and they are also from H&M. When I was shopping for baby clothes on H&M's website, I saw that they had maternity clothes and I am loving their maternity clothes. They are so comfortable and they're just, they're really um, soft and stretchy and they fit me perfectly. So I'm really, really happy with these. And then I've got my diffuser necklace. I'm gonna probably put some energy on this today. And uh, let's go out and see how the kids are doing on their school. You guys about done? Ready to take a break? I wanna take a break now. <laughs> well, if you're almost done, then you can take a break as soon as you're done and we'll have some lunch in a okay, little bit. Fine. All right, finish up. Okay. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to do energy after all i think i'm going to do either highest potential or magnify your purpose i think i'm going to do magnify your purpose because whenever i use this oil it reminds me of god's purpose in my life and how i want his purpose to be magnified in my life not my own goals my own dreams but i want everything i do to be for his glory so i'm going to use this today and pray that he would guide me and lead my steps so that my actions and my attitudes might glorify him today. So I'm gonna put this on my diffuser necklace. So here is our office, and yes, it looks like a disaster, but it, it's organized chaos. Like, I know where everything is. <laughs> so believe me, I can find stuff when I need it. Um, so normally, I would come in here on a, a normal day when I have stuff going on in my um, work from home business, and I would sit down at this computer and maybe pull up all of my ladies who have achieved new ranks and I would pack them up a special little rank recognition gift. I have some cute little diffuser necklaces in here for gifts that I like to give. I have some um, anthropology keychains. I have my congratulations cards that I send to them. And so that's one of the things that I would do. Other things I would do is send welcome packets to new members. So whenever anyone joins Young Living, I want to make sure they have all the information they need to be successful using their oils in their home for the wellness of their family. So I'll send them things like this safety card they can put on their fridge. I'll send them a little baggie of capsules that I have in a jar back here so they can put oils in capsules. Um, I would send them a little information on essential rewards so they can save money, which everybody loves to do, right? Um, and lots of other stuff there, so I put that in a little packet. That's one of the things that I do kind of on a semi-regular basis. And then the other thing I would do is I would sit down here, pull up Facebook, um, I would pull up Instagram on my phone usually and work on social media posts, but I've already done that this morning. So I try to post regularly in our groups so that everybody has education and information on how to use their oils. I also do fun giveaways and um, incentives and challenges and all kinds of stuff like that in there as well. So that is my little work from home business corner where I sit and do my stuff. Now I'm going to go upstairs and finally put away all our suitcases from our Norway trip that are still up here. I need to put them in the attic. And then I also need to refill this jar. My rice is all empty. So I'm going to come in here. We have a little pantry area in here where we've got a bucket of rice. So I will find my rice bucket and refill this and then put those suitcases away. And yes, this is a room where our air conditioner is, but I have my buckets of... Um, bulk rice and beans and things like that up here. It stays fairly um, neutral temperature wise. So I'm gonna refill my jar. So here we go. Got my little scooper. Pour that in there. All right, that's it. Wow, 
while I'm up here, let me go ahead and show you this room. This is my everything room. <laughs> I've got lighting equipment in here. This is where I do uh, photography for my business. So whenever I need to take pictures of oils or products or anything, I take them here. In front of this window, there's some great natural light. Whenever I do your videos, you guys, for YouTube, this is where I do them. So you can see where I sit. I usually sit about right here. I put my microphone up on that little table. I have, there's my background. You guys have seen this before, so that looks familiar. I have my wonderful Aria diffuser in here and um, just a couple of basic umbrella lights to light up the background. And then I have my ring light here that I can turn around to face me like that. And then uh, this is a massage table, yes. So this room I use also for doing raindrops. So there's the raindrop technique. This is a wonderful method of application of the essential oils. I do them mostly on my family, but I also do them on friends and people who really need them. So this is a fun little room. and. We'll probably switch this over to the baby's room when she is born. And I'm almost afraid to show you guys this, but this is the kid's bedroom. Um, there's their bunk beds. They love sleeping in the same room, even though they could have separate rooms. They love being together. And then, yes, our window in here is also blacked out. As you saw in some of our other videos in our master bedroom, we have um, soundproofing material and blackout material on our windows because we're all just very sensitive to light and sound and we like it as quiet and as dark as possible when we sleep. So that is that. And then yes, they will be cleaning this up today. They love their Legos and so they've got a bunch of Legos and Lincoln Logs and blocks and train set. So most of that is gonna get tidied up today. I don't know what all that crap is. Anyway, this is their room. <laughs> All right, I am going to refresh my sourdough starter now. I got a culture from Cultures for Health, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I have my einkorn flour from Young Living, and so I'm gonna refresh it, or feed it actually. And today is day, let's see, one, two, three, four. Today is day four, and so today I'm feeding it with a half a cup of the einkorn flour and a half a cup of water. And if you watched my toxin-free home, chemical-free home video, you will see that we have a whole house water filtration system. So our water out of the tap is free from fluoride, chlorine, chloramines, radiation, all that. So I'm gonna put that in there and stir it up with a non-metal utensil. So right now is my time to put my pregnant feet up and take a rest on the couch. The kids are finishing up their school. Actually, Fiona's done. She's outside flying paper airplanes. And you're done too. Come here. I, I, yeah. I, I, I also wrote the castle word. The castle word? Six hearts. Six hearts? Yeah. What is that? Um, could you tell me the castle word again? The castle, how to spell it you mean? Yeah. C C A T C A S C A S What else? T L E. It's a tricky one. T T L E. Yeah. And I wrote the C A S T L E. Actually, six hearts. Actually, six hearts. What does that have to do with castle? I'm not understanding. Because I love the castle. Oh, because you love the castles. <laughs> well, can I can I see your work? Can you bring your work to me? We use Abeka for language and um, I always forget the name of it, Math Lessons for a Living Education for Math and they love them so far. They do really, really well with those curriculum and then we use Abeka also for, oh, for you. science you want to see? and Story of the World for History. See? Okay, so show me. What did you do? Oh, you drew six parts because you love that. Okay, read me your story about the goldfish. Can you one day there was goldfish in a bowl and a little castle. Was in the bowl. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay, it is almost noon, so I'm gonna go ahead and put our lunch together. 
We like to have lunches that are kind of finger food, a little bit of this and that. The kids love those. So today we've got some olives, some organic grapes, and organic cherry tomatoes, organic cucumber, all of which I wash with the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Wash. Even though it's organic, I just want to be safe, so I use this. And some organic lacto-fermented uh, sauerkraut with probiotics. Lots of good cultures in there. And then these are two cheeses that we brought back with us from Norway, so we'll eat those as well. And I love to put this on the cucumbers. This has got sesame seeds, um, seaweed, some salt, Himalayan pink salt, some red shiso leaf, nori, and then I also added some garlic and just because I like garlic and everything. So we sprinkle that on the cucumbers and that's really, really yummy. And then we also have some leftover chicken salad in the fridge that I'll get out too. So I'm gonna make up their plates and call them in from outside and we'll eat. and sleds and you're sleeping. Oh, that's nice. We're camping. Camping? Yeah, under a tree. Under a tree. That's lovely. Well, guess what? It's time for lunch. Yeah. Come on in. We're going to come right back out, okay? Yeah, you can come right back out. All right, come eat. I want. Yeah. Yeah. Does that look good? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay, let's eat up. Oh, first wash hands. Wash hands, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Elijah, go wash your hands. All right, let's go see how the kids are doing upstairs. I have them cleaning their room, so we're gonna go check out. You guys working? Yeah. yeah. Good job. Got the lunch all picked up. All okay. Us. Awesome. You got all that stuff picked up? We're going to work on the window seat the very last. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we'll work on the closet later. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Love Laundry time. Got a big basket of the kids' clothes to wash. And I have a little stain on this one, so I'm going to treat that real quick with some Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate. This stuff works amazing to remove stains. So I'm just gonna dab some of that on that spot right there. Put it in. Okay. That's it. That's it there. Some laundry soap. This is super, super concentrated too. So I only need a little bit of it, so I'm just going to pour a little bit of this in here. Like half of one of those tiny cups. There's a little tiny cup, as you can see. Tiny. Okay, I'm going to pour that in there. No, no nasty, toxic chemicals. No icky fragrances. I'm going to go ahead and start throwing this stuff in. I just checked my starter and this is super exciting. So for the first time, it's starting to get bubbly. Yay, I'm so excited. Woohoo! Go little starter, go! The kids are just about done cleaning their room and I finished throwing a load of laundry in and uh, helping them pick up some stuff in their room, threw a bunch of stuff away. Do you guys as kids ever just like hold on to literally trash and their treasures? And uh, you let them play with them for a month or two and then sneak in behind their back and take them all away and throw them in the trash. Uh, don't tell me I'm the only one. So I am tired. I need a little pick-me-up. I'm going to pour myself a shot of Ninksha. Cheers. Mm. So 
delicious. So power packed with nutrients. So good for the baby. And it perks me right up. Dinner's gonna be easy. It's just leftovers. I made some amazing yellow curry last night with chicken and potatoes and carrots and coconut milk and curry paste. So good. But I made a huge batch of it. And so tonight, all I'm gonna do is heat that up on the stove and we'll be good to go. It is four o'clock now and still too early for dinner, but I am starving. So I'm gonna eat a few more of these. Um, what are these things? Olives, mom brain, pregnancy brain. And um, one of these pork sticks. They're uncured, nitrate free. Get them at Costco and they are so good. Super, super easy way to get some protein in and fill my tummy. And then I'm gonna go upstairs and check on the kids' work on their room. Okay, let's see how they did. All right. Looks a lot better. Okay. Awesome job. And this is why I don't go to the gym. <laughs> Kids finished all their school and their chores. So now they're watching a torch lighter. What's this one about, Fiona? William Tyndale. William Tyndale. All right. So they earned that. That's their little reward for cleaning their room and finishing their school. I just finished editing the first half of this video at my computer in the office and so I needed to get away from the computer for a while to rest my eyes. So I'm here in the laundry room. I went ahead and threw the clothes in the dryer and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So the clothes are in here but before I turn it on, uh, we don't use dryer sheets because they're super super toxic and full of all kinds of nasty chemicals. So I like to put this purification oil. It's just plants. There's nothing else in there but plant oil, and I put a few drops of that on these balls. These are just wool dryer balls. And then I throw them in there, turn my dryer on, and they smell good and help get rid of any stale odors since we don't use fragrance in our detergent. And then I noticed when I was editing the video that this was disgusting because I never use it because we never use bleach. So I went ahead and cleaned it out with my thieves cleaner. So I feel a little better about that. It is in the upper 90s here in Oklahoma, and I am braving the heat to run out to the garden and pick a little bit of cilantro to go on top of our curry for dinner. And most of the cilantro has bolted because it is so hot, but there is some that is still little enough that has some good leaves, so I'm gonna pick some of that. So here is our herb section of the garden. We've got cilantro and peppermint and lemon balm and dill and time and as you can see it's mostly cilantro <clears throat> that has bolted but there are a few little plants here that still have some nice leaves so I'm gonna pick some of these for dinner here's the yellow curry I was telling you about I just reheated that and we'll serve it with some jasmine rice and cilantro and then I also have some peanuts on top yum 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 so good Daddy's home, so we're gonna go ahead and have some dinner, and then Fiona, Fiona, where are we going tonight after dinner? Um, we're gonna get our, my hair cut. All yeah. right, gonna get her hair cut. So we are on our way to the salon, and what are we gonna do, Fiona? Mm -hmm. We're going to get my hair cut. Get your hair cut. How come? Uh, because it's taking too long and it's making me hot. <laughs> Need to keep saying, hey, I, I think your your hair is in your food. Yep, your gets hair gets, your food. gets in your food, and it's hard to brush out, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate it. It's almost to her waist, so she's going it's to donate it. Yeah, we're gonna cut off the ponytail and send it away in the mail. Yes. Hey Fiona, let me see the back of your hair. Turn around. Okay, so that's how long it is to start with, basically to your waist. There it is. Look, Fiona. Look, look. That's your hair. Whoa, that's a lot of hair going on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, let, me, let me see. Here. Whoa, it's so short. Yeah. <laughs> let it hang. Let it hang down for just a second. It, it, it looks so neat back here. 
You like it behind your ears. It's adorable. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah. Good boy. We're not even out of the car yet, and they're going. They're going bananas over look buttons. Look at her. Let me look at you. <laughs> Yona. You look so stunning. I'm serious. I thought of this moment when you were gone. I said, when Fiona comes back, I bet I'm just going to swoon over her. And I am. You're so beautiful. Look at it. Can I touch it? Oh. Oh. Does it feel great? I mean, it's so cool. It looks wonderful. <laughs> the kids are getting ready for bed, but they requested I Spy for a few minutes. So Daddy's reading I Spy for a few minutes before bed. You like I Spy? Oh, yeah. And they always beat me. <laughs> they do. They're no. good. I think they cheat somehow. No, they don't. Because no mere mortal could find these things. Well, I spy a key. See? <laughs> how how is that even... I'm not cheating! How is that possible that out of all the stuff, in less than a second, she finds it? I don't She's know. Cheating. Try Elijah. Elijah, I spy... Um, I spy a ship. Oh, I see it! <laughs> it's this big. I know. On two pages. All right. I'm in your beds. Here's my short hair. Yes, it's so cute. Good night. Is that your flashlight? Okay. Thank you, Jane. And turn the light off. Good job. Love you. Love you too. Good night. Good night. Good night. The kids are in bed, so I'm making myself a little snack. I have some molasses and. Dandy blend. This is a dandelion um, instant tea that we really like. And I'm mixing that into some raw milk that I'm warming on the stove right there. And then I'm going to have one of these little coconut macaroons that we got at Costco that are really good. They're all organic. Just a nice little sweet treat. Finished my warm milk and it's time for bed. So I got in my jammies and going to do my nighttime stuff. I'm gonna speed this up for you guys so you don't have to watch the whole routine. But if there's something special that you wanna know about, like what do I wash my face with or what oils do I put on my face or any of that kind of stuff, just comment and I will let you know what I use, what my favorite things are. Um, gonna start by oiling up the bump. for bed tired <laughs> but a good day thank you guys for coming along with us I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions about anything just put them in the comments and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future if you'd like to see more videos on homeschooling or real food cooking or the business that I do any questions that you have at all just put them in the comments and please like and subscribe that helps me out thank you so much Good night.